early. Well, it is good to our adventures. In when you look, you see how, or perhaps you don't see it. As you pray, you move forward, cough, and you've got the clutch, and you get to the biting point, moving, and they respond to the. You get a buzzer sound belt. You have some kind of scene that tells you exactly where you are. And you're on a ferry in the middle of the It flashes up as com- cars read the road signs and read you should be doing. And some cars even, indeed my car, if I put auto on, it will keep me within your hands off the wheel. It shouts at you. It, but uh, to get a car to work together in perfect pressure drops, the fuel efficient falls asleep, the car crashes, but you can't steer. If the, you get the picture. What has that got to do with Philippians? Well, in these first few two, Paul, little church in Philippi, not to be a car, everyone to work together so that they know in what they are called to do works well. Urging in those first few verses, if you do this, if you do this, if we can be a united and a journey, just as relevant to the church as to the early church. In Philippi, for their own glory, it only when the church was united in purpose. The church should be. That's how the church should have been. But in many ways, first few verses, or hear them as, when we look at this laughable, do that. How tame that? Well, since the early church within, there's an old Jewish joke that said together, you likely have a, the church, big theological resentments from historical variation in worship style, clashes of leadership style, and on and on. So how can we think of a church at the start? Where we all thought this, all loved each other completely, regarded everyone else, Indians, to us and to a church like that. If we strip away differences that I talked about, is the styles of worship, the Petra, which it does. Where we come, ourselves, we, we don't as the primary focus on somebody else. So me as the vicar, thank good. We focus on we focus on Jesus Lord, the King, the Savior. We come to worship that in this but we have to worship and the Lord. The reason why is Christ centered. Be attention on Jesus first. Reading, studying and culture. We have to bust the trend. Jesus don't know their Bibles well enough. People in the pews, they don't they come to be fed on a Sunday for the rest of the week. And then they come into that little snippet of Scripture. And that is the only bar each week. The few verses have to focus on the Word. To spend time with it daily. I encourage people on Wednesday. And I, if you we are, who haven't done so, go from start to finish in one go. Do it this afternoon. But for this, this letter from Paul, start to finish in one go. The rhythm of the letter and what Paul is just being. Well, we've had this little snippet last week. Read it in one go. It should flow. Jesus being at the center of it, all we come to church isn't a need to come to Jesus Christ. We want to feel good and it's the right. So when we come to do we have the right mind? Do we come with an attitude of humility towards one another? Or are we sat there thinking better or, well, that was a bit long. I didn't like this. The temperature, I don't like the fans on. I don't like the doors. I... Mindset with love for one another. Things that I've just listed, if we're coming, they are there to serve as a worship of Jesus Christ and our outside of the church for just a moment. Those distractions, when we were at home, we might have the radio on, in a book. All serve as a distraction. If I was to say, how often do you, and then how often do you spend watching the TV, your activity of choice? Mine isn't at all. And then we can start love and humility, common purpose within the other is left out. And that's a dangerous place to be. So what's the motivation? Well, it's in for one to live this way. No, comfort comes. Or as Paul, united with Christ. Family of Christ. Love in the family and cheers you from day to day. Spoken this morning about his, him and kept him in Luton. Should be. That's what one another is all about. And this isn't a sermon to fit in nicely with Philippians 2. One another. In here. Listen to each other, good at listening to somebody and going, well, that's a, perhaps we don't say that out loud. And we're going to go and do this. Each other. Hear and consider. That is repeated regularly through. We love one another. It means when we love, love each other, there is, you have that common purpose of Jesus Christ. Thinking though, but I've not got anything next to. Hopefully that's not Rob or spouse. I have nothing in common with you. I want to tell you, if 
you read with the person sat next to you. Temples of the Holy Spirit. Spirit dwelling within us. Spirit is what unites us and family as Christians and Jesus Christ. Spirit to direct us. And we can't help but move action. And it's the Holy Spirit that is got that path. The vision last year, we all that this is what the Lord was asking in a particular season. And we need to review it. You see tomorrow. As I work with candidates, the process is geared up. Different people and to agree, yes, we think they have. Then they get to go. Within the life, everybody, it all seems nationally that it requires involved and time, nine times we're all on the same page. So we allow the Holy Spirit to live for that common purpose. That's how unity works. In many ways, it's beyond us because it's the Holy Spirit. That, but when we allow the Paul is getting that natural human emotions of So when we allow the leaders to feel affection and sympathy for the, for the person who perhaps. For the person. What are you doing here? You don't fit the mold of a image. As God does, because God looks we do when we allow the Holy Spirit. If, when we consider what doesn't sit well with us, unity, then something happens towards unity, to the inner life. Now, again, that's inable at the outset. In church, all move forward together. There'll be any disputes. We're just going to, everything will be perfect. Church to do is in, into, into it. Our discernment of what the Holy Spirit, so that we can find that Spirit is guiding us. Person A changing their mind to a just as person B change C, who is struggling with said, if you follow that. It's, it's confusing, it's supposed to be. It's not about all of each other. It'll be the final aim. Because many others can be thieves, adultery, genocide, armed. They are what makes us a church. Us, as Christians, maintain our focus on what Jesus does. We remain on how Jesus died, the wages of death. We are his hands and his feet. And where we fit, the of God's ultimate plan, back to himself. Jesus Christ. Thinking the gospel. Thinking, our thinking, have the gospel. Gospel, that's when the disputes. Plea in verses 3 and 4. Not only to our own interests, others. Part of the gospel itself. I have come to serve and that is the mindset that we, that we come to serve. He served. It's nice to make sure that Wendy puts that, despite what I might have said this morning. You know, you don't come to church served, serve one another. That happened in the church during the sea. It's all place to one another. It's like that the most interesting person that you're sat next to, which is if that's a spouse, the most interesting that next to, that means that everything. We gather here this morning, think about it like that, to get somewhere close to what about it's fixed on Jesus it shows us next after those falling for unity a beautiful passage of Philippians 2 the church so often and continue so how can we start to to 11 beautiful words that Paul, Paul wrote them he may well be in poem and, and sort of re, re, re but when we think about those culture that Paul was writing in deeply subversive and counter he says, ships with one another have the same mind, too, being in very consider equality with God, some own advantage, himself nothing by tevent, being made in human, in appearance as a man, self by becoming obedient to death on a cross. That's verses. In Paul's time, had put an end to the and had brought peace to the whole. Many subjects as divine, leader, other rule model, because that's what heroic time. Read Philippians 2 5, and we see what it looks like. It's a life of humans going to the cross. That's what track. Ten world rulers lord it. It mustn't be like that. With you, the ruler must be the slave. Came to give his life to many. Those few verses five goes to the very heart of the. Heart. It gives the deep ground sacrifice and unity within. Them. As I say, it may be the earlier Christian writer, but what we those few verses statements of faith. Jesus was and what. I read verse 9, it, the poem, it's the word, therefore, Jesus, who did what we've looked at in this way, celebrated Easter. What only here with Christian vision of God, Father and the Son. Now, Paul is away from a monotheistic view of God, theological discussion now. But have we allowed, friends, to keep into our attitudes and view a deity or divinity? Looks like Paul's time they had, they thought, Augustus, who do we think is divine? Do we look on TV? They're, they've got it all sorted. To radically rethink our view, do that, we need to start and rediscovering the person of Jesus Christ as the Son of Savior. 
It's a challenge. But what we see most clearly is for the sake of the world. God is seen most clearly to the cross because he abandons the sake of the whole world. If we start to the idea of this suddenly makes a lot more sense because we're living Christ was crucified on the cross, part of the Godhead, the very model of unity, Son and Holy Spirit. We are made in that image, strong in that relationship spirit. That's perfect in the church. Very verses. Paul summarized the first 11 verses with everything without grumbling. It's titled, he's looking forward to the Messiah as long as towards this. In the church then stands as a thing, old, messy, that's what was happening. In, that's what's happening in the 21st century. The church amongst the depravity we find ourselves living in. The church is known for the wrong reasons. Independent boards being sacked. The same-sex blessings. Discipline. People in church for that. People in the church trying to uphold and proclaiming the word of Jesus. Wrong reasons leaked into the church. In verse 17, is that we can be children of God with depraved generation. It stars in the universe. Word of life. The church can. Beautiful. United together, the mighty acts of now the shining light, which speaks of the wise, the time who knew and applied God's execution, shine like stars by God's law to our spite the fact we musician, of course not of some of our brothers and sisters. United, in, we can be a church that is beautiful, and that will see the ugliness of this world. The world only knows the way we know that we are, a, and His new creation. Paul says to do it without arguing. Israel in the wilderness, when they question, Paul sees the church brought out of the, the Passover action of God and now on the promised land is this going to get it right. We're going to get promised land when everything is presented to the church. In first hearers of this letter, the same challenge applies to us. and strive for what he explains. Or are we merely going to think that's a lot for me?